I read your guys' comments all the time and I know you guys want it. You want a strategy education. And on today's video, I'm gonna show you the breakback strategy and how you can utilize it today. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrick Kenny. If you're new around here, what we do is we talk about how to trade, make money, and make better financial decisions all from working from your home. And on today's video on the whiteboard, traditional, I'm going to show you how to use the breakback strategy. So first things first, we need to define the market. So there's going to be three different types of markets that you see from time to time. You're going to see a market that's an upward market. You're going to see a market that's a sideways market. And you're going to, of course, see a market that's a downward market. Now, all the time when you see these markets, you will notice that you have a high and it breaks. You have another high, it breaks. You have another high, it breaks. You're always wondering to yourself, when is that going to reverse? When is it gonna to get to the peak and plummet? Or when is the market that's plummeting going to eventually rise? And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's strategy session. So the first thing we need to understand is understanding what's called a double top and a double bottom. Think about this double top as an M. Think about this double bottom as a W. What this means, traditionally speaking, is we have a group of buyers when the market is going up. When the market is going down, we have a group of sellers. So the market going up means there's buyers, 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 buyers. When it gets to this point, what do you think happens? Sellers come in the market. The market drops. When it gets to this point, what do you think happens? Buyers take over again, and the market goes up. And the same when it gets to this point again, what do you think happens? Sellers come back in the market, and the market drops back down again. This is one of the classic reversal signs in the market, but they are hard to find. It is very rare where you see those levels line up. And that is where I have created the breakback strategy. So we're gonna flip over here. And I'm gonna blow this up big for you guys. So when we have a peak in a market, this means that we have, say, a total of 100 traders and they're all trading the same amount of volume. In this segment, from this low to this high, more of those 100 are buying than selling. And in this segment, from this high to this low, more of those traders are selling than buying, hence the direction of the market. And so I want to ask you this, have you ever seen the market break this high and then come back down? A false breakout is what happens all the time and this is where we've designed the breakback strategy. So let me explain. When you see a high in any given market, every time you see a high followed by a dip, what I want you to do is get in the habit of drawing a horizontal line. When that high is hit, you are drawing that line because you are actually looking for the market to break that area, just like it did here. The market hit this high, it dropped back down. It couldn't go further. The buyers were no longer there. The market reverses, the buyers take over here again. The market comes back up and guess what happens? It breaks. The term break back means it is broken, it is above that high, and then it's dropped back below. Now this is where the simplicity comes into play. Your win-loss ratio on this is gonna be lower. You're gonna win five to six out of every 10 trades doing this. You're not gonna win every trade. But what's going to happen is your risk to reward ratio is going to be amazing on these trades. Let me explain. When you take a trade in this system, you must wait for the market to break out and break back in. Now what we're breaking out and breaking back in from is the previous high. 
So this black line here, that's the previous high. Once the market's broken out, it triggers in my head, okay, Patrick, the market has now exited that high. Now I'm waiting for it to come back in. The moment I see it come back in, that is where once it closes, the candle must close below that line, that is where I put in my sell order. Now to keep it simple, you're gonna have a stop loss as well, and the stop loss is always just above this high. That thing breaks again, guess what's happening, guys? That thing is going straight up, and you already know that, because sellers have shown that they're there, but buyers didn't care. You always have to think about this in strength of numbers. Buyers, sellers, buyers, sellers. So we know we enter here, our stop loss is there, and our target, our easiest target, is that bottom dip point. So now what I want you to do is I want you to visibly see this is our reward. This is our risk. You can see that. What do you have more of? Way more of. Reward versus risk. And so our goal is to find these opportunities where you could have a one to three, one to four, one to five risk reward ratio. So that the ones that do lose, that's okay because you had a one to five risk reward ratio on the one before. The reason that that is so important is that enables you to be five, six, four, three out of 10 and still make money. So again, this is what's called the break back strategy. I want you to also remember that everything we just talked about is the same on the flip side. So if we were to find this first level, and draw a line, guess what? We exit the low. Once we exit the low, what happens right here? Buyers come into play, they take over the market. When buyers come into play and they take over the market, entry happens here. Once the market is closed over that line. And again, if we draw this all out, entry at close, Take profit here, stop loss here. So if we were to look at this from a visual standpoint, risk, and reward again. And that's on the flip side. So this is when you're selling the market, you're shorting the market, this is where you're going long and buying the market. This is the breakback strategy. Don't forget that this is the first time I've shown you guys this on my channel. So I'm going to be making screen shared videos of this in real time on charts as well. I just want to get you guys accustomed to this so you can see it. So if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more strategy, if you want to see more Forex trading content like this, I encourage you, click the like button and let me know what you think down below. Go give it a shot. I wish you best of luck in your trading and I'll see you guys on the next video.